Hey yo, incredible people, it is I, Incredimations. And today, I'll be drawing flowers as people. I've incorporated elements of the flowers, such as the flowers themselves, their symbolism, and their possible personalities which may fit the flowers. Without further ado, let's get drawing. Alrighty yo, here we go. So the first flower I've decided to draw is a sunflower. The main thing I was aiming for with this drawing was to try to make the character have the personality I'd imagine a sunflower would have. I think it makes sense to give them a joyful, optimistic, and happy-go-lucky personality. As I was drawing, I really wanted to make the character in a jumping pose since I think that it would show those personality traits quite well. I also gave his face a very positive expression since I feel like that sunflowers if they had faces would show this as well. I also made his hair little spiky shapes that point upwards similar to a sunflower and I also made it yellow, which a sunflower is yellow as well. When it came to the eyes, I wasn't sure if I should make it blue or orange, but I decided to go with blue for two reasons. One, I think it contrasts better with the yellow hair than the orange would, and two, I think blue very clearly shows good, whereas orange wouldn't be as clear as to whether or not it gave good or evil energy. I gave this character overalls since overalls are often used in a farm and I tend to think of farms when I think of sunflowers. Coming back to colors, I made the overalls brown and the shirt green since sunflowers have those colors. And finally I decided to add a sunflower on the sunflower humans overalls. So this is the way the first drawing turned out, overall I really like it. I also added sunflowers and little suns around the character just as a finishing touch. Next up, I have decided to draw a violet. I find that violet symbolize loyalty and modesty, so I decided to draw the violet character based off of a prince. During the sketching process, I was trying to figure out how I should make the torso and the right arm. In the end, I decided to make the right arm's hand go over the forehead. I wanted the violet to be around the back of the head, and while I was drawing it, I was trying to figure out what shape I should use, whether it should be sharp, round, or flat, and I decided to make it like a combination of a round and flat shape where there's like two round edges on each petal. I wanted to give this character leaf-like shoulder pads since I feel like that princes tend to have those, and I also think that leaves would fit well with the violet theme. I also added some stripes on the jacket. In terms of the colors I used, I decided to make the outfit mostly gold and dark yellow. I feel like that this would complement the purple of the violet head very well, and it also makes him look even more loyal. I really like this design of this violet character overall. I also added some stars around the character as well as a couple of violets just to make it feel more complete. And finally, the last design I've decided to do is an orchid. This one, I didn't really focus as much on the personality nor the symbolism, and focused more on what an orchid would look like as a human. When I first started drawing, I wanted this character to look fairly tall compared to the other two characters who are short, so I was struggling on the proportions a little bit at first, mostly when it came down to how tall I wanted the head, arms, and legs. In the end, I think the proportions went well with what I was going for. I decided to make the orchid a flower crown since I thought it would look cute, and it would also show the multiple flowers of an orchid. When it came to clothing, I decided to give the character a leaf skirt, since I thought it would go well with the color palette I was planning to give her. Speaking of the color palette, I decided to make the leaves green and the shirt pink since I thought that these colors would contrast well. I also gave a couple other things less saturated pinks and purples like the flower crown and the socks. I also added a moon on the shirt, because I could. I think this design turned out pretty good in the end. I also added some light pink outlines of orchids at the bottom, as well as a few polygons and a moon at the top. Alright everyone, here's what the flowers ended up looking like as a result. I really enjoyed coming up with each unique design. Out of all these designs, my favorite's gotta be the violet. I think I have some really neat ideas with this character, like with the leaves being the shoulder pads. I hope you all enjoyed seeing these designs as much as I enjoyed drawing them. If you did enjoy them, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, we are almost at 200 subscribers! I'm aiming for that number by the end of the year, 
and subscribing definitely helps me in trying to reach that goal. I hope you all have a great day. See you next time.